So today, I think we're going to go into custom. So let's kind of take a look where we stand. 68% uh, survival rate, 7.12. My focus this wipe is on trying to keep that survival rate up. All right, let's make sure we got everything here. Armor's all repaired. Be taking the uh, M4 in with us today. And I think we're going to go into customs and maybe stumble upon one of these quests or might get into PvP. Um, we'll kind of see here. Make sure I got all the keys I need. I need the unknown key. There it is. All right, grenades. Ammo looks good. Heals all good. Um, so with Tarkov, with these tasks, uh, like I've avoided these custom tasks because early on in the wipe, customs, everybody's going to customs to try to accomplish these tasks. So I've just put them off. I just haven't gotten back around to them. Um, if you want to do this safe, you can do it at night. Um, but, you know, I feel like I feel a little frisky. I feel like getting into some action. And um, so if I run into any obstacles in the task, so be it. If I fail, then I'll start all over. Um, and that's that's Tarkov. Right. So everything looks good. Uh, yep, let's go. Make sure everything's insured. I don't care about insuring the keys. So make sure all my equipment's insured. As long as the keys stay in your container, there's no threat. So, and I'm not going to be taking them out. So, hopefully, we get in quick. Um, Customs is a big PvP map. It, it just is. Um, it's better now that they've kind of opened it up. Um, this map used to be... Uh, it used to have a choke point in the middle of the map. And you would spawn on one side and you'd have to go to the other side. Which means you have to go through that choke point. Um, and vice versa. If you spawned on... On uh, the west side, you have to go over to the east. So the choke point was a big problem and allowed people to camp that choke point. Uh, they've opened it up. There's now multiple paths crossing from one side to, to the other. Um, you can also camp in a bush for a while. Um, and let the the people that are rushing to the dorms area which has the most loot let them run let them get there let them battle it out and then uh, you can either go after the victor at that point and get all the loot uh, or wait till they vacate the area and then kind of scavenge 
Uh, so it just really depends on how you want to play it. I highly recommend for new players to Tarkov that they keep a map up on another screen uh, or on their cell phone or tablet um, to reference until you you're really comfortable with the map. There's a lot of good loot in customs now. Um, it was also pretty barren for loot. So again, if you were on this map in prior patches, it was uh, either to do the quest because you had to, or you're there for PvP. Now it's important to assess your surroundings and figure out where you are right away. Because uh, there are some spawns that are relatively close on this map. Trim and full auto. And what you don't want. Um, so this is actually a great spawn for rushing the dorms. But I really don't want to be the first person in dorms. But Oh, I didn't. No marked key. Well, we can go to two-story dorms. Oh, see, somebody's there already. Now, there's going to be some potential players that spawned over here. And there's one, which is what I was waiting for. but I couldn't tell where he was. Yeah, did I... Ah, uh, oh, I hit once. Yeah, okay. That's customs for you. I should have looked and see what he he killed me with. No matter, he he saw me before I saw him. All right, so let's heal back up. is do we want to go back in uh, I need a place to put this stuff it's a problem with using I like using all the storage area I got. All right. Uh, weapon. It helps to have a ranged weapon on this map, but I don't have to have one. Switch out our ammo. I don't know why I'd be 
ET in here. Start with a sixty. Yes, ammo. Uh, who's got the? Uh, oh, maybe I haven't unlocked that yet. It's the other advantage to. Obviously, getting your. Uh, no, he's not going to have anything on mechanic, so I meant. Um, getting your. Benders leveled. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure. It was. I thought Peacekeeper had a swap for BS. Okay. Heavy bleeds, and then that way I don't have to waste this to get my heavy bleeds. I can use this for light bleeds, use this in an emergency. All right, well, let's go back in. We'll take one more stab at it. Now, I have no silencer on this weapon. What I could have done, so to reevaluate your prior match, which I highly recommend doing, um, what I should have done is after he crossed over, 
um, followed him. And not shot at him. Just let him run by thinking that he's safe. And, you know, run back. Uh, the other thing I could have done is I could have run towards the river and um, down lower and tried to spy anybody coming across um, and maybe I would have had a shot at if I had done that right away and not hesitated I might have had a shot at getting him when he was either running across the bridge or if he was running across the uh, the low bridge and you know the fact is the second guy coming in I heard him I heard the bushes rustle but by the time I saw him he was already on top of me so it's really um, more effective uh, when you know somebody's somewhere to be the aggressor. Because you typically see them and put the other person in a reaction mode. Um, but there are times when that aggressiveness will get you killed too. So... Um, it's, it's figuring out the right balance, and a lot of players struggle with that. Heck, I struggle with that. I, I don't make the right decision every time. Uh, if you're a newer player, when in doubt, don't. Don't engage. Hide. You know, don't, don't make yourself aware. Um, unless you get... An opportunity like you get somebody who you know bends over to loot a body and you can pop them in the head pop them in the head um, so take your chances and, and be more selective and you'll find that your survival rate goes way up a lot of new players average around 10 to 20 percent survival rate and uh, it's just because they're struggling to learn everything needed to to be successful probably cut some of this out of the video because it hasn't been taking this long recently to get into Raids. Uh, hopefully, I'll get some of my bandwidth issues situated, and uh, and my Twitch stream will be up. And uh, hopefully, I have some other people to talk to while playing. And helping people with the game. Alright. Interesting spawn. spawn over here. Some shots. 
distance. If I'd known I would get a spawn, I would have most assuredly chosen a weapon with a scope. most of the stuff. Sort through it, like, grab it, sort through it later. Uh, I know I don't care about that. Don't really care about any of this stuff, really. See a sniper scav up here. Now the downside to um, taking out scav AI is that they can alert you to players in the area. Now without that scab out there, but I'll take that. Nice key. Well done. Are you serious? Don't repeat. Crap. Alright, he's got me dialed in. Alright, let's see what we got here. Broken arm. Scav AI, you know, it's kind of hit or miss on um, you know, sometimes they're dumb as a rock and other times they are laser beams.
wonder if he went under me. I mainly wanted to spy on players. All right, so they, let's see, for example, right straight ahead. There's somebody over here. Could be an AI, though. Could be him. And it was. Same guy. So, unfortunately, I do have to get to the other side of the map to get out. We're at 36 minutes. Okay, there's another scab to me. Another scab. Scab to the front, and another one running to the right. I don't know if it's an AI or if that was a player. footsteps. This is not not the best place to go.
someone to my right. And to my left, getting pitched. One to my right is now behind me. I hear you. It's just an AI, though. But like I said, AI can be dangerous as well. Up above. Which door? What a sugar!
I didn't bring food and water. And that's not going to help. I need to find some food and water. Not where I expect you to be, buddy. Leading him? Okay. Dump that, give me that. Dump that, give me that. Stashes over here. Let's hit the stashes. We are not remotely close to our extraction. Nobody over here. I was going to go hit that stash that's back there, the railroad tracks, but well, let's go see what's going on. is not good.
clear. They might have extracted. I really need some food. Ooh. That's a good key. card in here. We're checking computers for graphics cards. Is that my footstep? If he had AP ammo, look out. Okay. Alright. I want to go to the semi truck and get the stupid bronze watch. drives while we're here. There's been no players here. Maybe scab players, but not actual players looting. And it's been relatively quiet overall. So that makes me think I, I can get at least one quest done. serious? I got that much stuff on me? Right. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we need to unload some stuff. Yeah, 
that. Uh, I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need most of this stuff. Um, just keep one stack of that ammo, which isn't good for me. Don't need shotgun ammo. That's. Some emergency ammo. That helps a little bit, but necessary. What's the stuff I really want to keep? Well, the elite pliers are valuable. Uh, the pistol ammo could be come in use. And let's say maybe the OKP might be useful. Magnet. Well, you can you can trade for magnets now. Give me the bolts. All right, we're just gonna dump that whole thing. I could swap it out. That's pretty big. Let's do that real quick. And then we gotta go. We gotta book it. So we're gonna dump that guy. Commit insurance fraud there. And with so little time left, we got book. That's the problem is you can get stuck on one side of the map. This seems like a dead raid, which means I probably could have. See your crossroads trailer park smuggler's boat. No, okay. See, the other problem is I try to conserve ammo doing single fire on that guy. Well, 
Well, the only upside is with so little time left, I will probably get all my stuff back. Should have sprayed him, but that's Tarkov. <laughs> <laughs> 